Hi, I'm Ada and uh, my, I'm nine years old. I'm Maddie and I am seven years old. So how old were you when you learned firearm safety? Really young in my younger years, kind of like seven, six, kind of. Me too. You too? So why did you guys learn about gun safety? Well, our parents are gun people <laughs> and, and we, um, um, and we like shooting them, but we have to know the safety so we don't accidentally hurt someone. And yeah, and for going to the range, we'd get in trouble if we didn't follow the rules. Yeah. Okay. So can you tell me the rules of gun safety? All can right. you tell me them? So, always keep your finger off the trigger till ready to, till shoot. Ready to shoot. So like this, have your finger aligned. Good. And like this, but when you're ready to shoot, you go like this. Okay. How about another one? Maddie, give me another rule of gun safety. Always keep your gun pointed in a safe direction. So right. Up or, up or, or, or down range. Down range, wherever that is at your range. Right. Okay. So we have keep your gun pointed in a safe direction, keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Is there another rule of gun safety we should follow? Always keep your gun unloaded until ready to shoot. So whenever you're going to, so if you like conceal carry or any of that, it's ready to shoot, so you'd have it loaded. But if you're going to the range, you wouldn't have it loaded, just in case accidents when it's in your bag or something. So. Right. so what other kind of safety things should we follow when we're shooting guns recreationally? Um, wear eye and ear protection while at range. That's good. But if there's an emergency, you probably won't, you can't like, get that stuff as quick. Right. So now that you know the rules of gun safety, if you were ever around some other kids who were playing with guns, would you, do you think you would recognize if they weren't being safe with guns? Probably. Right. How would you know that somebody wasn't being safe? What would you recognize? I recognize that their finger's on the trigger. It's not in a safe direction. They could be pointing it everywhere, like, right. and like even at you. And it's probably even would... lo loaded, and that's not good. So you'd stop, don't touch, run away, and tell a grown up. Perfect. So if you were around somebody who was showing off with the gun, um, and you recognize that, you would run away. That yes. Was, so that's true. Run away. Say that again, Maddie. What would you do if you saw somebody with a gun or a gun that you knew was just laying around? Stop, don't touch, run away, and go tell a grown up. Hey, um, we're, I'm Victoria, and this is Adam. I'm Adam. And we're the parents of Ada and Maddie, and um, we thought it was really important to teach them about gun safety super early. I think Maddie was probably still in diapers um, when I taught them to stop. Run away and tell a grown up. It really helps kind of ingrain it from an early age so they'll know that guns are um, something that they can only handle when they're with a the parent. You know, we found that uh, we thought it was very important at a young age to teach them to respect firearms. It's a uh, tool that we have that we use. Uh, we use it for recreation, uh, we use it for hunting, um, we uh, could use it for self-defense if needed um so just the simple fact that we had a tool in our uh household um that is uh requires a great deal of respect um we felt well what better way to teach them to respect that than to have them uh educated and understand that at a very early age uh, we feel like a lot of some of the um issues that you see on the news or in the media uh come from uh maybe parents and or children that just don't have that education. So we wanted to make sure our children were properly educated and make sure they know about the safe use of firearms.